The last high-level political forum of the United Nations ECOSOC offered an opportunity for selected countries to present their progress report on the implementation of the SDGs to the United Nations. Nigeria was among the selected countries with a senior special assistant to the President on Sustainable Development Goals SDGs, Princess Adejoke Orilokwe Adefulire, presenting the report on behalf of the country. With barely two years into the implementation of the SDGs, the practices put in place in Nigeria have attracted the attention of the United Nations and the global community. This has prompted the invitation of the country to share her experiences with other countries. The Senior Special Assistant to the President on Sustainable Development Goals, Princess Adejoke Relokwe Adefolire, presented the Progress and Status Report on behalf of President Muhammad Buhari on the implementation of the SDGs in the country to the high-level political forum of the United Nations. Princess Orelokwe Adefolire reiterated Nigeria's commitment and willingness to pursue with increased vigor the core targets of the global agenda. Nigerian government, therefore, has, however, taken a number of steps which I will quickly reflect on. The first logical step taken was to identify the target the poor and vulnerable by developing a national so social investment project. The social investment program is targeted at the poor and vulnerable with att attendant national social register, my world survey, which has just been mentioned, to get the poor because the poor are the needy, the vulnerable are the, are the receiving end. We also develop a homegrown school feeding. We are feeding the school children one meal a day. And government also introduced enterprise empowerment program to provide financial support to traders, market women, cooperative groups, women farmers, artisans, as well as introduction of medium, small, and micro enterprise. The empower program which was designed to create youth employment and life skill development program for the youth is also ongoing. We also have vocational training for the grassroots women. For us, to, to us, we believe that the grassroots women are in their numbers, and this will reduce domestic violence in our homes and abuse. It's also called dependency among the women, and it also help our women to get their children to school. The best practices forms part of Nigeria's voluntary national review on the implementation of the agenda and which was laid at the high-level political forum in New York. The forum, under the auspices of the UN ECOSOC, provides a platform for partnership and review amongst groups and relevant high-level international stakeholders.